Here are some notes on hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis. This condition is more common in children. The etiology is usually vomiting, such as in newborns with pyloric stenosis, which you can see in this imaging down here. This pyloric stenosis can cause vomiting, which causes you to lose hydrogen chloride, which is your acid and your chloride, leading to the hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis. Other things that can cause this are prolonged NG tube suctioning, same thing, you lose that hydrogen chloride, cystic fibrosis, diuretic induced alkalosis or diuretic abuse, loop diuretics and thiazide diuretics, if you use too much, can cause this condition. Laxative abuse can cause it. Hypoventilation can cause a chronic hypercapnia, and you can have a compensatory post hypercarbia alkalosis. The signs and symptoms of this condition are dehydration, hypovolemia, electrolyte imbalances, which can lead to apathy, confusion, disorientation, hypopnea, uh, muscle weakness. These patients are susceptible to ventricular arrhythmias, and they'll have a leftward shift of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. To treat this, you want to treat the chloride loss, so you want to stop any kind of diuretics or laxatives that the patient might be on. You want to do volume appreciation, usually with normal saline to start because they're hypochloremic and saline has that chloride ion. You want to correct their other electrolyte abnormalities as well, and you want to decrease gastric acid secretion in some cases. You can use an H2 blocker or a PPI for this.